Hi guys, hope you're all doing okay. Dr. Don Nightingale here, your clinical dementia specialist. In this little short video, I would like to talk a little about how we improve dementia care. I've got a couple of suggestions, a couple of key strategies that will help with that. And I've pulled it from one of, one of my earlier quotes that you find posted on Facebook and Instagram. And the quote reads, Establishing routines, using clear communication and promoting independence are key strategies for improving dementia care. So this week, a number of my patients have talked about independence and these patients are ageing in place. So they have care teams going in to support them at home. And whilst they're appreciative of the support that they're receiving, they also feel that it's kind of stripping them of some of their independence in their own home. So like a, a member of the care team will be moving things around in cupboards and tidying things and reorganizing things without actually talking to the person who is living with dementia. So what I'm saying here is if that's, if that's happening, the person living with dementia must have a say in how they run their household. They've, it's their home, they've lived in it for however long. So in order to maintain their independence as much as possible, they need to be involved in those decision-making processes. So if you're a carer or a support worker or even a formal, uh, an informal caregiver supporting somebody living with dementia, then remember to include them all the time. Inclusion is so important. That's how you empower somebody, by including them in a decision-making process. So just think about, about that. And communication. I released a video some, at some point about the CAR approach, which is all about communication, attitude and response. So when we talk about clear communication, we have to be very specific in what we are saying to people. We have to use the right words. We have to use the right phrase, the right terminology. And we have to meet the person where they are at in relation to their journey of dementia. Some people might be impacted at a speech and language stage. Some people might not. If people are impacted by speech and language, then it's even more important to be clear, to be concise, you know, to be specific um, about what, what you're actually communicating. And we've also spoken before about this, but I'll reinforce it. Body language is a key component of communication between people, animals. You know, that body language is massive. It accounts for about 73% of all our communication, just body language. So 27% is our ver verbalisation and our ability to do what no other species can do, which is talk in sentences in, in our kind of language. So dogs probably understand each other when they're barking at each other. Um, horses understand each other when they're neighing at each other. But their biggest understanding and comprehension of communication is via body language. So always be aware of your body language. When you're having a conversation with somebody, be open. You know, have open body language. So just, just bear that in mind, you know, think about your own body language, how you sit, how you stand, your posture and that kind of stuff. Um, the other thing that I was talking about is establishing routines. Now that's important for most people, but when you are living with a cognitive challenge, it becomes even more more important that there is an established routine and that people know what is happening from one moment to the next. You know, we when we're at work, we get up in the morning, we have our routine to get ready for work. 
we go to work, we have our routine at work, and then we come home from work and we have our routine when we get home. So throughout that entire 24 hour cycle, there's a routine. And part of that routine, of course, about eight hours of that should be sleep, good sleep. So having an established routine is another way of improving dementia care and ensuring that there is, you know, the best quality of care, quality of life and independence. So I just wanted to share that quote with you and what was the, the meaning behind it. And I'm going to be doing that every week now. One of my two videos each week will be talking about the messages and the meanings behind the quotes that I've posted. Thanks for listening. That's going to be helpful and useful. Uh, have a fantastic week. Have a great weekend. Please share these uh, videos, share YouTube with all your friends, families, um, cohorts, co-workers, just anybody, because the more that we educate people on the topic of dementia, the better it is for everybody. So follow me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a fantastic week. And remember guys, say it with me, dump the soda.